of Villanova, Nikki Akande, uh, formerly of Villanova. She's now representing Adidas Rogue down in Austin. Uh, Molly Hansen, Wisconsin. She's an All-American in the 1500. Haley Meyer of Duke. She and her twin sister, Hannah Meyer, outstanding high school athletes uh, from Michigan, multiple national champions. Um, she is representing Duke now. Heather Wilson of the New Jersey, New York Track Club. I believe she's formerly of University of Connecticut. And Mariah Kelly of Baylor. She was at anchor leg of that DMR last night. Gabriella Stafford of Toronto, also someone to notice. She ran an excellent double uh, of a, she ran a 1K and an 800 at the Armory Invitational just a few weeks ago, posting excellent marks in both of those. I believe 242 and 206. So. So this is going to be a great race. These ladies. All right, so this will be that fast heat of the women's mile. That's right. So, you know, if you if you don't live under a rock, you saw that Colleen Quigley of Florida State ran 429.67 for a full mile yesterday at the Boston Valentine Invitational. But rumor has it, you know, the pace is going to be hot here. They're going to go out something around 434 or under pace. So we'll see how many ladies you really want to be safely under 440 to make it to the national meet, as close to 435 as possible. Absolutely. Yep, that is what you want to do. That's what they're going to try to go for here. Picarillo, a member of that Villanova DMR squad that has the NCAA leader right now, so you know she's ready to run fast. That's right. This is going to be a great race. And we do have a rabbit. This is the fast heat of the women's mile here at the Iowa State Classic. All right, we've got Angel Picarello of Villanova, Nikki Akande of Adidas Rogue, Megan Wright of Toledo, Rochelle Canujo of Running Unattached, Molly Hansen of Wisconsin, Shannon Morton of Virginia Tech, Haley Meyer of Duke, Heather Wilson of the New Jersey New York Track Club, Mariah Kelly of Baylor, Taylor Tubbs of Florida, and Gabriella Stafford of Toronto. So out to the front, that is Becca Addison, former Michigan Wolverine. She is your rabbit today. Shooting for something around 4.35 would be a goal time for this group here today in the fast section of the women's mile. They come through the 200 around 33 seconds. So that is quick early on, but the Pacers doing an excellent job stringing this one out as the athletes try to get in position. That's right, Heather Wilson and Gabriella Stafford right behind the Pacer, Becca Addison. The professional is trailing the pacer right now. She's got several collegians behind her. We'll have a 400 meter split for you shortly here. Taking them through the first lap, 68. That's 432 pace for the mile. Well, so and, and Heather Wilson of New Jersey, New York Track Club, she's ran 433 indoors before. So this she's no stranger to this pace. It's a good solid pace so far, consistent for what they're looking to run. Nikki Akande on the outside in that Adidas kit. She is moving up. So we'll get you a 600 meter split right here from the pacer. That was 141 on the clock through 600 meters. 1K left to run. Sitting in third right now, Gabriella Stafford of the University of Toronto. She ran 4.17 for 1,500 meters, but 2.06 for the 800, 2.42 for the 1,000, so she's got some wheels. Less than three laps left to run here. Wilson continuing to trail the pacer. This is going to be an 800-meter split. They hit it right around 2.16 high, 2.17, so still on pace. Pacers looking to take him through 1,000 meters. It is Wilson and then Picarillo, the Villanova athlete. Behind her, that is Gabriella Stafford, who runs for a to Toronto club. This is going to be the 1,000 meter split. We'll have two laps left at the track. So Addison done a really great job of stringing this pack out. You can see 
which competitors are going for that 4.35 range time. All right, less than two laps to go. It's Wilson trailing the pacer, followed by Picarillo, and then Stafford, all the way then back to Mariah Kelly of Baylor. Pacer stuck around a little bit longer than anticipated. Let's see if she goes through 1,200 meters. So there she steps off, and it's all Wilson and Picarillo. They'll have one lap to go here. Picarello's best time, 439.03. She's probably going to smash it if the pace continues. Looks like she will break that time here today. It's going to be Wilson and Picarillo, one lap, lap left to run. Wilson's been in the second position behind the pace for the whole day. One to go. See if, see if the pro can hold off the collegiate. Heather Wilson, Angel Picarello, facility record 434.54, set in 2004. So we'll see if that mark can go down today. Wilson looks like she's starting to struggle a little bit, but she's still able to hold off Picarillo. Picarillo trying to move to the outside. Wilson holds her off, 100 meters left to run. We'll see who has the best kick. Heather Wilson, Angel Picarello of Villanova. Here we go, 80 meters left to run. Wilson charging for home. Can Picarillo do any damage? Trying to come up on her inside. Wilson's driving hard. Strong finish there out of Stafford. Let's see if she can grab second, but Wilson's gonna take the victory, followed by Picarillo, then Stafford, 433. I think we have a new facility record. That's right, I think we do as well. We do have a new facility record. Out of Heather Wilson of the New Jersey New York Track Club. Get final results up on our screen. Heather Wilson takes the victory, 433.75, followed by Angel Picarillo of Villanova, 434.28. Gabriella Stafford of Toronto, 434.67. You see the rest of the results up there on your screen of the women's fast section of the mile. So the pacer did a spot on job of leading these ladies to some fast times. Picarillo's time, she's looking at about fifth right now on the NCAA list, and that is before, of course, all the miles that will be run today. But, you know, fifth, 434, that's, that's a pretty good position.